Hi, my name is Elisa. I'm a graduate student at Princeton University. I also lived in Moscow for a few years, where I studied at Ergeu. I worked as a journalist at the Moscow News and the Moscow Times, and I also taught English. I'd like to say a few words to you about my friend Igor Shavkunov's English teaching methods. Igor is a very dedicated teacher with over 15 years of experience, and his methods are very rigorous and successful. Igor sees his duty as a teacher as developing three abilities. The ability to speak and write, the ability to read, and the ability to understand spoken English. Let's talk about how Igor trains his students in each of these fields. First, the ability to speak. Igor invented a few cards. Here's an example. You can see on this card a chart of verb tenses, with all of the tenses arranged along the horizontal and vertical lines. On this chart, it's easy for a beginner to understand how these tenses work together, and Igor will explain it. Once you understand how the tenses work, Igor will give you lots of examples where you have to translate from Russian into English, and he will drill you on these examples in every lesson until you can make these translations fluently, until you can do them without thinking. Most of the time in Igor's lesson, you work in a very active regime, it's like an imitation of a real situation. You speak English fluently. The standard grammar books that Igor uses are those by Raymond Murphy, Martin Hewings, and Betty Sharamfer Azar. So Igor also works with situations. He's convinced that if you learn to speak in these situations or topics, and you know how to build sentences around them, you'll be able to handle situations when you're abroad. So an example of these situations is like an airport or a restaurant or a hotel. Why does he do this? Why doesn't he just teach grammar rules and then words and then allow you to make any sentences you want? The problem is that if you translate from your native Russian into English, you might sound odd or strange and sometimes not even make sense. So, for example, if you're in a cafe and you see an empty chair and you want to ask someone whether a person is sitting in that chair or not, in Russian you would say, Etet stol zanyet, or Etet stol svaborem. But if you translated this into English as, Is this chair busy? You would sound very strange. The proper way to say this in English is, is it taken? So this is an example of how you have to know what kinds of words are used in English to express oneself and to learn these situations by heart. This will also help you to learn grammar rules. So Ico turned this book, which you can see on the screen, into cards, which help his students memorize situations. Igor has hundreds of cards, and these cards cover most situations that one needs for traveling. He also uses podcasts by Dr. Jeff McQuillan, and you can see an example of these podcasts on Dr. McQuillan's website. These cards give the opportunity for a student to separate the words he knows from the words that he hasn't learned yet. This separation increases the student's concentration by forcing him to work on the ones that he hasn't quite learned yet, and it makes the learning process much faster. So here's another example, the English side of the card and the Russian side. In order to move on, you have to learn to retell the entire situation. Igor doesn't stop on the level at which you just translate from Russian into English. He makes you retell the entire text by heart, with a smile, like you're in a real situation. Because in a real situation, you won't have a Russian text. Igor will also make you tell stories about your own life, about your travels, 
using pictures, and he'll make you learn to tell these stories fluently as well. In order to develop your writing skills, Igor will have you write letters to him, which he will then correct. And this will help you learn to speak as well, because speaking and writing correlate very closely. Let's talk about how Igor teaches students listening skills. So first of all, Igor doesn't waste lesson time on listening. This is something that he believes you can learn on your own. He gives students soundtracks with a text in Russian and a text in English. And it's your work to listen to the English soundtrack and listen to the English text trying to learn everything. Igor also has a collection of over a thousand movies with subtitles in English and, or English scripts. And he will give you copies of these movies and copies of the scripts and have you watch the films over and over until you have a good understanding of the words that are used, how they are used. He will also, of course, have you retell in your own words what happens in the movie or he'll have you write a little composition about it. Igor has found that watching movies in this way gives very good results. So the final ability that Igor um, trains his students in is reading. Reading is also something that you won't spend lesson time on. Lesson time is devoted to active learning and speaking. Reading is something that Igor feels you can do on your own. So after your lesson, you've learned grammar rules, Igor will give you something to read. And it will be something that you'll enjoy reading. And when you have questions about this reading, Igor will help you to translate sentences, to learn words and appropriate grammar. The, reading the movie scripts for the films that Igor has will also help you. And these films are also are enjoyable, popular films. Igor has a really great collection. So Igor takes all, um, all levels and kinds of students. He enjoys working with children. Um, he gets along with children really well. They love him. This is the book that he uses for children. There are a lot of pictures, a lot of songs, and Igor turned this book also into little cards. He likes playing games with these cards with kids. Um, if you translate a word that's written on the card, he'll give you the card. And Igor also um, will show kids cartoons and have them learn words and phrases from these cartoons. He also will give progress reports to students to allow them to track what they've learned and give them motivation to learn more. Um, on these progress reports, you'll see how many words they've learned, how many texts by heart, how many songs. Igor is also writing a book called Trahadili Mima, in which he analyzes all successful experiences of learning English and all dead-end methods. So regarding um, tests of English, Igor will prepare students for tests like TOEFL or the EGE. Um, there's nothing particular about Igor's approach. He does a very standard procedure of giving students a lot of tests and explaining the grammar that is connected to these tests. Um, this is probably the best way to prepare for them because you can really only um, get an understanding of the kinds of questions you'll be asked if you practice those questions over and over. So, of course, one of the most popular kinds of uh, English lessons is for business English. Igor's um, thought about business English is that he will teach you proper, ordinary, regular English. And the business English is really just a set of words and phrases that, you, that he can teach you on top of regular English. Um, but he wants to give you a good grounding in the language 
first so that you can use these words and phrases appropriately. He also has many cards for learning these words and phrases. Igor pays a lot of attention to pronunciation. He, a few years ago, he and a British friend of his made a DVD that has phonetics exercises and video. His friend is a talented actor who teaches acting in Moscow, and their DVD combines Igor's very serious understanding of grammar and phonetics with his friend's acting abilities. There are a lot of pronunciation and intonation drills in this video. At the end, I would like to say that Igor's 15 years of experience teaching English has given him a very good understanding of how to teach each particular student. Igor has experienced teaching very busy people, government people, business people, and also plenty of experience teaching children and students. The only thing that Igor doesn't do is teach large groups of people. Igor teaches students either individually or sometimes two at a time because he prefers to give students a high amount of individual attention. I hope I've given you a good understanding of Igor's teaching methods. I believe that if you seriously want to learn English, Igor is one of the best teachers you will find. Thank you.